Hi everyone, this is Debbie Gonzalez from Social Media Abby Views. And today I, I'm going to do something I typically don't do, which is um, I am going to unbox a pair of Opium Yves Saint Laurent shoes. Yes. Um, and the reason why I'm doing that is because I, I was buying a pair, I bought a pair of shoes, I bought a pair of shoes and um, they happen to be the Yves Saint Laurent opium shoes. So I bought these shoes. I was super ecstatic. It was like the first time I bought myself a pair of shoes that were like super expensive. I was really happy about that. And I came across um, on my feed um, on one of my social media sites, I came across an ad for the same exact pair of shoes for like probably about 9% of what I paid for them. So I was a little shocked because it came up on my feet and I'm like, how are these shoes that I paid so much money for $80? So I wound up purchasing them. And to my surprise, I got them within two weeks. It took me about as much time to get the real pair as it did to get the, the, the knockoffs, the fake ones. So I said, I'm going to do a video and unbox them. And I want to see if people can tell from both which are the real ones and which are the fake ones. So I am going to be unboxing them soon and uh, I hope you like the video and stay tuned. Take care. Okay everyone, so let's get started. The first thing I noticed was the sizes of the boxes. The box for the replica or the knockoffs was much smaller. Also, the box around the words Saint Laurent on the real shoes was beveled, whereas the box around the words on the knockoffs were not. The box around the words Saint Laurent was actually flat and glossy. Also, on the fake box, you had the word Paris, where on the real one, you did not have the word Paris. The box for the fake one also had a hole on it, but the box for the real ones did not. As you can see, the dust bags. There were two dust bags for the real shoes, for the real YSL shoes that were very thick and almost felt like velvet. Where the box with the fake one only had one dust bag and felt more like a satin material. The word Paris was on the fake dust bags as well. If you look at the real dust bag, Saint Laurent is on its own the bag is thick and has a white lining. There is also a drawstring used to pull the bag closed. So here's what you guys really want to see. The shoes. The shoes are very beautiful. They weighed about the same. However, the real shoes had the word Saint Laurent Paris in yellow gold and the knockoffs had it in a rose gold color, as you can see here. The stitching on the inside of the shoes were pretty much the same, but if you look at the real shoe, it was much sleeker looking. Now the sole of the real shoe, you can tell of the real YSL shoe was leather, whereas the fake ones were more plastic. The heel is where I noticed the biggest difference. The heel for the real YSL shoes was on the inside of the actual sole where the heel for the fake ones was on the outside. Also, the heel for the fake one was more slanted than it was for the real one. And the last noticeable difference I saw was the width of the top of the shoe where your toes are, the toe of the shoe. 
the ones for YSL were actually was actually much narrower and shorter. It's not a bad knockoff, but it's up to you guys if you don't want to spend a lot of money. So thumbs up or thumbs down.